I'm Cave Joel, and you're watching Comic Smack, the weekly comic book show where we take closer, more in-depth looks at the coolest and most happening comic book storylines going on currently. And on today's show, we're going to be looking at Harley Quinn number 25. Harley must infiltrate the heart of Arkham Asylum, battle her own inner demons and old love to save her new love. Let's find out what happens next, shall we? So, as the comic opens, Harley returns to Gotham and meets up with her best friend and maybe more, question mark, that's a discussion for another day, Poison Ivy. Ivy is worried about her friend's safety going deep into the heart of Arkham. Apparently, since the last major breakout, and really how many breakouts have they had in Arkham, they've beefed up security consistently. Ivy has also managed to procure a boat and is ready to be the escape driver once Mason and her are out. Harley's plans to get inside the asylum is to pose as a doctor, and if you're thinking, hey, hasn't she pulled this trick before, hey, shouldn't the Arkham guys who worked with her back in the day be able to see right through this plan? Uh, well, yeah, they totally do. The guards even come prepared wearing gas masks, so Harley just can't knock them out the way she wanted to. She instead has to knock them out the old-fashioned way. You know, with her fists and stuff. Harley finds Mason's cell and is ready to bust him out of the joint, only here's the thing. The Joker has been his next-door cellmate, and he's been filling his ear with poison for days now. By which, of course, I mean figurative poison, not literal poison. I know what the Joker sometimes it's hard to tell. Mason doesn't want to go with Harley because he's heard of all the horrible things that she did while hanging out with the Joker. Harley pleads with Mason saying that she's different now, she's changed, she has friends, people who truly care about her. She knows what love, real love is now. The kind that she and Mason have for one another. Obviously the Joker can't let this happy Kodiak moment finish, he quickly starts laying and told Harley. Saying that she'll never be free of him, he will always be with her everywhere she goes. Not standing for the Joker's clown crap a moment longer, Harley locks herself in his cell to have one final showdown. And man, you know what we've had? Writers do the Joker where he's really scary, writers do the Joker where he's really crazy. This Jimmy Palmiotti and Amanda Connor version of the Joker, he's kind of disgusting. Like the ultimate abusive boyfriend, he smacks Harley around for a little bit and even tries to kiss her saying that he's got what she needs. Little does the Joker know, two can play at crazy because Harley bites his freaking lower lip off. Mason and Harley are ready to leave, and for a second, Harley considers killing the Joker right then and there with one of the guard's downed guns, but it's in that moment she truly understands what Batman has always gone on about. Killing the Joker would only make him right in the end. And you know what? Speaking of Batman, our heroes catch a ride with Harley and the stolen boat. Yeah, she stole that from Batman. It's the Bat Boat. He is none too pleased about the theft, but he also brought all of Harley's friends from Coney Island. It seems that Big Tony talked to Batman, and they worked out a deal for Mason. He gets to stay out of prison, and in return, he gives information to Batman about the massive corruption going on in the mayor's office. This means Mason and his mother, too, are going to have to go into the witness protection program, which means he won't be able to stay with Harley for that much longer. They share an impassioned kiss before the two lovers sadly must part ways. On the train ride home, Harley reflects on how much her life has changed from getting out of the Joker's shadow. And while she may not always win at the end of the day, she always has a reason to smile. Harley Quinn number 25 is an issue that reminds us, even after a bunch of wacky shenanigans in a row, this comic can still deliver one hell of a serious and impactful story. Harley getting to tell the Joker off is super cathartic, and it was handled really well within the context of the story. Honestly, this is one of these issues where if this was the last word written on the series, I think it would have gone out on a super high note. Honestly, I'm not sure what else to say about this comic besides it really scratched a personal itch for me, and I loved it a hell of a lot. I give it a much-deserved 10 out of 10, and if you would would like to catch up on this Jimmy Palmiotti, Amanda Connor, Harley Quinn series, then might I say checking out Book Depository? No BS, it's my personal favorite place to pick up trade paperbacks and worldwide free shipping, you can't mess with that. Plus, if you use this link right up here on screen to buy yourself a trade, you'll be helping me continue to make great video reviews like this one, so everybody wins. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you'll feel like checking out some more videos I have on offer here at Cape Jewel.